I thought I liked Jedi Survivor. I loved it. Again, the only uh, real huge problem is uh, at the end of the day, it's just a single player game and as good as the mechanics and the story are, there's not much to do when you're done. There's definitely more than uh, Fallen Order though, which is good. There's a lot more stuff to do, but still at the end of the day, uh, I have, uh, how do I explain it? I have, I've been playing it slightly off stream too, and uh, I have like one more thing to do where I know something interesting is gonna happen. But I know once I'm done with that, it's just basically going around collecting skins and then replaying it. And that, I already find myself losing interest in replayability, which sucks, unfortunately. But that is the type of game they made, though. It's not like it's to be uh, expected out and different, you know. We knew that going in. And they did improve it from Fallen Order in terms of that, so. But it's just, it's just not a game that's con uh, constructed to have that much, like, replayability, unfortunately. It's not like a Battlefront where you have multiplayer and stuff. I... I Side note, are they going to have DLCs in that game? Does anybody know? Is there going to be like some new missions or new shit coming out every once in a while? I don't think they did that with Fallen Order, but maybe they'll do it with this one. Who knows? Nah, I didn't play Elden Ring. I, usually I'm not into single player type games like that, but for Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor I make exceptions because they're Star Wars. I'm not really into those type of single player games. But I probably would. I, I actually enjoy them, but I don't really, really uh, play them at all, I guess. For whatever reason. Do I prefer it over Fallen Order? I, I, yeah, probably. Fallen Order is a little unique because it's the first time we had a game like that in a long time. So it it has that going for it. But in terms of this game, I think I like the, the mechanics a little better. At least from what I remember. The story was good. Except one little part that I, I'm not going to spoil, but I just... Uh, if you watch the stream, you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, that just, it didn't make sense. But the rest of the story was really good. And uh, like I said, I do like that they add more stuff to do. Like building up that little town on Kobo. I actually really like that. They did a good job with that. Instead of focusing on your ship, you can focus on the town. I, I actually like that. That was a good thing they did. I still think they could have expanded on that even more. Plus they had the little like, uh, what do you call it? In-game game. Or you can go play with all the characters you killed. I really like that. But there, sadly, there wasn't a whole lot to that. I already beat all the characters pretty quick and relatively easy. So there's not a whole lot to do. I wish they had kept expanding on that. Like have random people come through the town playing. Or have the, the characters you do play in that game randomize their decks. But it's just kind of like you beat them and that's it. It's a little too easy. So Kind of like Gwent. Gwent and The Witcher. There was so much to do. Oh my goodness. We could play Gwent for hours, but here I'm like, ah, kind of beat it kind of quick. In terms of the side, uh, the little mini game, now I'm not talking about the full game, but if you guys haven't played it, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you played Witcher, there's a game in there, and it's along the lines of Gwent. Not not Gwent in terms of like a card game, but an in-game game that is addicting to play, and you gotta go against other people, and when you win, you get shit, you know, stuff like that. That game was actually fun, because, like, how do you explain it? When you're playing Fallen Order out doing a regular mission, if you kill, let's say you kill a Magna Guard, you would scan him, and then now he would be in your deck. It's basically like Star Wars Pokemon. Once he's in your deck, when you go to play the side game, you can now have a Magna Guard that will fight on your board. It's like the, it's similar to the game, or maybe it is the same game that they play in their, uh, what movie was it? One of the original trilogies. Chewie's, like, smacking the table when he loses and shit like that. I don't know if it's the same exact like game, but it's along those lines where you get different characters and you can play in there and have them fight. It's so fucking fun. Yeah, a lot of people don't speak in chat. But I'm glad you're talking now. Glad Jedi Survivor can make you talk. Hopefully you liked the last stream. You can figure out the Xbox. There's not too much to it. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's not like PC. PC, to, at least to me, since I'm never on, is way more complicated than a console. The Jarek? Yeah, something like that. Hollow chest? One of those things. Yeah. What, what are those things? Blue Cascade. You can see it there.
just hit him, he's weak. Does he have a shield or something? This TIE Fighter doesn't want to get hit. Be damaging the walkers as well. I was getting the points. Holy walker! Yeah, I, I kind of want to talk about that cascade because I, I was thinking about that this morning actually, where. I just said I don't want to spoil it, but I kind of want to talk about that, so I'm like conflicted, should I? But for those who do know what I'm talking about, well, e even if I say it, it's going to give it away, so. Okay, if you don't want a spoiler, mute the mic for maybe uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, give or take. There's your there's your warning here. But uh, the Jedi Survivor takes place the same year Kenobi did, the Kenobi show. And in that show, we see Darth Vader get his ass handed to him. And also in this game, we see Darth Vader get his ass handed to him. I'm like, so damn, that was just a rough year for Vader. He's legit just getting destroyed by Seer and then by Kenobi, and he barely gets out alive of either. I'm like, that's a little, a little weird when you think about it, but whatever. Okay. I guess we're well, not totally taking him, but we're we're done talking about it. But yeah, you go. But for those who are wondering, that is the the what I just talked about was the the scene I didn't really like in the the game story. Other than that, the game story was really good, but it just it didn't really make sense. Um, like whatever. No furious, yeah, I finished it. Uh, I'm not in the U.S., but I'm not stationed elsewhere. I'm in the Philippines, but I'm not in the military. So. Just out here on my own accord. Play Dying Light too. I love the first one, but I got bored. Well, I don't want to say got bored, but I played it longer than I played Fallen Order. But I never got Dying Light too. Not yet, anyway. Maybe I was looking at games to start streaming other than Battlefront, like single player games. But I don't know how well that's gonna do on the channel. Because not being negative, Fallen Order didn't or uh, Jedi Survivor didn't do like great. It did better than Battlefront, but. Like, not, not by much, especially considering it's a new Star Wars game. That usually, Fallen Order stream-wise did way better, but that was when the channel was actually still alive, so. It's a little different, so I don't know how well those type of streams would go over with uh, non-Star Wars games, especially. Like, uh, what's that new zombie game that came out, Dead Island 2 or something like that, or whatever. So, something like that, plus Dying Light I never played. Those are two games I'm interested in getting. There was even part of me that wanted to do a... a uh, replay of Shadow of War. I have a uh, Game Pass now, and that's free on Game Pass, so I downloaded it, and I'm like, man, get the game for free? Because I had it on PlayStation, and I played through there, but I obviously don't have my PlayStation anymore, so, so. It's like, man, I could play through on Xbox again? And that that's a single-player game that I think had more longevity than even Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor did. At least I played that way more than either of these, which is interesting, because they're similar in style, but I feel like there was more stuff, at least that interests me. Like, getting different, like, capturing different lieutenants and stuff and having them, like, defend your castles. Oh, I fucking... I love that shit. Oh, 
thought that turret was looking the other way. Why? I thought. Did I throw my grenades? Did I only have one? I don't know what's going on. Thank you, Kenobi. Yeah, Shadow of War is probably one of my favorite games. At least, uh, uh, no, nah, I'd say it's just one of my favorites. It, it's just that good. I know it's only single player, but man, I, I went from that game legit got me into uh, Lord of the Rings. I didn't even watch the movies. Was never interested in Lord of the Rings, but I played the game just because one of the YouTubers I watched was playing. I was like, man, the mechanics are pretty fun. I'm like, fuck it, I'll try this game out randomly. Knew nothing about Lord of the Rings, but it made me fall in love with it. And I'm like, damn, I'm a fucking. Uh, Go watch the movies. I went back, played Shadow of uh, Mordor, and then watched the movies and did all that shit. That's how good the game was. You know a game's good when you can go into a well-known franchise where you haven't really even been interested, and then the, you play a game about it, and you're like, damn, I'm going to get into this franchise now. Like, that's how you know a game's fucking good. And we're about to get overrun and die here by the looks of it. Reinforce your princess. Shouldn't push back up here. That's probably a mistake. But at least we have General Kenobi. Oh my god, we were just talking about Kenobi. And look at it. Now we're both here. And a side note. This isn't really a spoiler for those who haven't played the game but are thinking about it. You get a Darth Maul dash in uh, Jedi Survivor, kind of like the. It's basically the same one in Maul, uh, that Maul has here when you hit his RB dash. Oh my god, it is so fun using it and it actually like registers. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. They made it really satisfying when you hit somebody with a lightsaber in that game. Yeah, there's not as much dismemberment as I would like, which would be awesome, but. Yeah, it's still. It feels really, uh, feels really good when you smack them with a lightsaber. Give him a little smackaroo right to the face. It is? Wow, I didn't even know that. I've just been craving Shadow of War. I don't know why. I've, I've been talking about it a while where I wanted to do it. Go back and play it again. Because I, I enjoyed that game so much when it came out. Now people are getting back into it. That's interesting. <laughs> 